So I kind of went and bought a car that I've never seen before. Um, to be honest, I really didn't know a lot about it, so I actually had to do some research on this uh, before. Uh, yeah, before I even made a video. Um, it's a, called a Chevy Epica, but we have changed its name to a Chevy Epic. So it's actually really fast and it's got a really weird motor and it's not really a Chevy. <laughs> so leave a comment down below on what you guys think this kind of this car is actually and I'll leave you some uh, helpful hints and don't worry I'll tell you guys and it actually surprised me. So this is an LT model. It's got nice interior, nice trim, sunroof. Uh, I thought these were leather. Steven says they're vinyl, whatever they look like leather. This is the one thing up here that kind of seemed really weird to me. Uh, this is an inline six, inline six horizontal, longitudinal, no. It's width wise. <laughs> yeah. It's an inline six front wheel drive. 2.5 liter. Uh, we definitely don't see a lot of inline six front wheel drives. They are out there, but not very common. V6s are much more common. Um, I did some research. It's a 2.5 motor. Apparently, Porsche kind of made it. Not real sure. Uh, I can't find a whole lot of information on this actual motor. And the transmission, it looks super Toyota, Toyota ish. Eisen. Eisen. It, it looks like Toyota and Hyundai had some kind of mutant baby and just put it in there. That's what it looks like to me because it's got the oil plate on the front like a Hyundai and the bottom of it looks like a Toyota. Uh, Ep so Epicas, only 06 and 07 were in Canada and they only came with a 5-speed, I'm pretty sure. If you had like a, Su a Suzuki, uh, or Suzuki... Verona, yeah, Suzuki Verona. You can get the four-speed or the six, or you can get a manual in them. And then there's the Holden. Actually, it's called the Holden Epica, as well. Really? The Chevy Epica, yeah. But all right, guys, I'm gonna kind of spoil it right now. You seen all the ones that it kind of came as, but this is actually a Dawu. got killed by a Daewoo Lanos, motherfucker! How you like me now, huh? Gross. So, it's a Daewoo, and I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I kinda thought about derby in it, but once I looked at the rear suspension, I was like, nope, nope, I do not want to derby this. The rear suspension is like a nightmare of cross members and stupidness. Um, the front doesn't have a full subframe. It kind of looks like a Toyota Corolla with the main bar that goes up the middle. 03 and newer. 03 and newer Toyota Corolla with the main bar, the big bottom rad support, but then it's got these weird bars on the side. I'll try to get up on the hoist. But we're going to go do now is Steven kind of blew up his road car, which is sitting there. Mm -hmm. So Steven needs a road car. So we're going to go see if this thing boogies. Yeah, see, see if I. See how nice it is to ride in. Yeah, if, if it shakes and falls apart and does 80 kilometers an hour. Very tall and fat, so we'll see. But seats move back far enough. Let's go take this thing for a test drive. Can you guys say 140 kilometers an hour? Oh, that's that's sissy numbers. Those that's rookie numbers. Listen, I drive a Camry. 140 is extremely fast. I got mine up to like 170 once. Yeah, mine I needed like 10k of road though. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go take this thing for a test drive. <laughs> Well, here we are, a lovely day in Mexico. We're driving around with our new car. She's so slow. slow. It's not slow. This is fast compared to my Camry. It's kilometers an hour. She's ripping, man. She's doing 110. That's super fast. But a little farther, a little farther. Oh, you're testing brakes. The brakes are big. Yeah, it's all brand new brakes. But, uh... Not a bad car, you can definitely feel a wheel bearing. There's your exit right here. Ow! Yeah, there's tires behind your seat, Steven. Yeet. Don't jump it just yet. What do you mean? <laughs> Look at the mogos going into here. Go, 
But it's got power steering fluid. Yeah. It's a D Woo, what do you expect? <laughs> Definitely smells like it's burning a little bit of oil though. Did we check the oil? No. It had there was oil on the timing chain while it was running. Yeah, she's got oil. That's like me. Alright, do a little do runabout stuffy. What? Do a little runabout stuffy. I'm gonna let my dog in the water. Make sure there's no snapping turtles today. Alright, let's go in. Go, go get it. Good girl. Turn traction control off. What? Turn traction control off. Dude, you're gonna hold it. No, I think you just push it. It was off. Oh, okay. Ah, whatever. It looks nice. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Are you stuck? What? Why are you stuck? I don't know. I definitely burnt rubber. That was weird. You, why were you stuck? Oh, hold on, hold on. that rock? Huh? No, look. Touch that rock. Huh. Oh, it's like touching that rock. I see the rock. I see the rock. Is that a letter? Must have been all those kids doing meth out here. Yeah, damn meth problem, kids. I had one heck of a meth problem there for a while. Hoo -wee! I'll do one more. Alright, one more. I'll film it. Is your e-brake still on? No. Back up. That is really weird. I think it's gonna suck in the winter. <laughs> you get stuck in a blade of grass. Yeah, try it again, try going forward. All right, now it should spin. What the heck? Why is it? Maybe this will not be a good car for a river's race. I'll turn traction control on. Okay, turn the traction control on. You're just gonna get us stuck and then I'll have to call my wife and she'll have to come rescue us with that damn Jeep and I'll never hear the end of it. This thing's weird. Yeah. This thing's really weird. It's like, it was extremely hard to control. <laughs> was it fast? Not really. It looked fast. <laughs> like, the steering wheel does whatever it wants. It ripped it, like, it just ripped itself out of my hands. So this is a Cassandra car for Rivers Race then. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are underneath the day. Woo! And this has got to be one of the weirdest front subs I've seen. So they got like a K-frame, like Cavalier and all that back here. There's your power steering leak, maybe. 
Yeah. So we got a K-frame like Cavalier with control arms that have a welded in bottom that comes super flat for the ball joints. And then you have one solid bar that runs up the middle to a lower rod support that is super beefy with toe points. And then you have these big solid pieces of steel that come from here all the way back to the subframe here. So it is a kind of super weird kind of design-ish. It's crazy to be honest. Um, I think there's, we think there's a wheel bearing gone like right here. Tight as shit. Yeah, very, very tight. This side here, not so tight. But then back here, this is what I'm talking about, the monstrosity of links. You have one link, two link, three link, four link, five, well, five is the strut, and then you have a spindle that goes to an upper A-arm. What a crazy design in the back of this thing. Mm -hmm. At least they all look pretty stout. Yeah, oh. but I think it would snap right there, to be honest, or like up here. It depends how high the bumper is when you get hit, right? Yeah, exactly. If you got hit by something that was pretty low, I imagine you'd fold these right over and it would look kind of weird. It would probably bend out. I don't even know what this thing do. You might be rocking the camber gang on the bottom of this. Camber. Yeah, but... That doesn't sound bad. No, that one doesn't sound bad. I think that's the best one out of all four. <laughs> oh, all the right front's all right. You can kind of hear like bearings clicking around in there. Here, I'll do it again. Watch your fingers against that damn caliper. Okay. Can you guys hear that on camera? I think you could. So probably three or two wheel bearings for this. Uh, a, a little bit of fuel line. Look at this. Don't, Why? You, you're gonna break it. Don't be touching stuff if you don't want it to break. Back's yeah. all blown out. What is this? Like an evap solenoid? I think it's a fuel filter. With a ground. That's what, with a grounding strap. Why? Oh. With a grounding strap. Oh. Oh. But yeah, that's our impressions of this uh, Chevy Epic. So, uh, what do you guys think we should do with it? Should Steve, Steven drive this car on the road? Should I take it up to Rivers Off-Road Race? Do we scrap it? What do we do with this thing? There's going to be no derbies for 2020, so don't even suggest derbying it because it's not going to happen. But maybe we might take it back down to a gravel pit somewhere and jump it. If Steven... I imagine it would be okay to yeah. jump. I think so too. I like factory skid plates, sir. They're plastic. That's that's not a skid plate. That's the subframe. Yeah, it is. It won't. It won't. It'll be fine. Well, leave a comment down below, everybody. Okay. Let me. Is aluminum. Rib for her pleasure. It's aluminum. <laughs> it's I can just imagine a rock just going. Oh, I'm a rock. Rib for uh, her pleasure. Used to be an oil pan. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a comment down below on what you think we should do with this car. And thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Zach's workshop.